Welcome back everyone. Today I'm going to show you how to make some simple green stuff molds like these I'm making for Kingdom Death Monster. They're really easy to make especially if you just want to mold some small objects to put on bases or on terrain. Green stuff is a nice cheap alternative to the bigger latex or even epoxy based mold sets you can buy from a hobby store. So I'm just going to show you how I made these quick reusable bases and hopefully give you another useful technique for your terrain building toolbox. So here I'm taking the object that I want to make a mold out of and I'm taking a bit of green stuff and I'm going to fold it up till it's about twice the thickness of the object that I wish to mold. Then I'm going to take a little bit of oil, canola oil here, and coat each side of the green stuff and of the object that I'm impressing into it. And as you can see, I'm just taking my object, pressing into the green stuff, and going over it and applying pressure to make sure that the object is kind of evenly sunk into the green stuff. All right, and again, this is a nice, quick and cheap technique. You can get a bunch of green stuff off of Amazon for like 15 bucks, while as mold making kits can be 20, 30, even 40 bucks to get good sized kits. So green stuff is a nice, cheap alternative, especially if you're making smaller objects like I am here. So here you can see I've made several different molds and the idea here is I, I want to make some scenic bases for some of my Kingdom Death models. And so here we're now going to fill the mold. So I took some more green stuff and I covered it in some more canola oil and now I'm going to press them into the molds that we just made. I did let the molds dry for about a day so you want to make sure that the green stuff is completely hardened before you attempt to uh, go ahead and start casting any molds. But here we are again, just applying some uh, some firm pressure all around the green stuff, making sure that it fills up all the cavities within the mold. And it is very important that you use oil of some sort uh, to ensure that the molds don't just stick together. All right, if you don't put enough on there, you'll just get a round ball of hardened green stuff, and your mold will fail. So now I'm going to fill up a larger mold, and you really don't have to be go all that thick with the green stuff when you're actually casting the mold. You can actually get pretty thin layers, which is nice for when you are, you know, making terrain or bases. You will notice a that the definition won't quite be as nice on really heavily detailed objects, like on all these faces that are on this, uh, this mold. Some of the detail is gonna be a little soft, but overall it's not very noticeable unless you really stare at it. So you can get a pretty nice effect from this technique. So we let our molds dry for a day, and then I'm going back now and I'm going to pull apart the mold from uh, from my cast here. And there you go, as you can see, we had a pretty good cast here. You can notice there's a little less definition, especially around the mouths of some of these. But for a base, you won't be able to notice it, and I think it'll work rather well. This is very useful for making bases. Basing an army can be a very time consuming and for me a kind of a frustrating part of army building. And so to have a way to duplicate bases that you make that you find are interesting or to use objects from you know, your army to place on your base, this is a great way to add that detail very quickly. As you can see, the larger the object, the actual better the detail comes out. Small objects, often there are a little bit less detailed. And here we are with a nice little lantern, which actually kept a lot of its detail. I was impressed with how well that one actually turned out. I think also the smaller the surface area, the easier it is to push that green stuff into all the nooks and crannies. So here I took all those different faces and those lanterns and I put it on a base, added some clay in there to kind of mix them all together. You get a very interesting base here with the different faces, very creepy looking. It will Definitely, it'll look pretty good for one of my Kingdom Death models, but this is a simple technique that can get you pretty good results. So hopefully, if you haven't already, you'll give green stuff molds a shot. They're a great way to speed up your uh, scenic bases. You know, you don't have to spend time making unique bases, tons of unique bases. You can, you can duplicate them, and they also add things to terrain, especially if you have terrain with not a bunch of detail on it. You can take a few molds of objects and place it around your terrain to really liven it up. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please hit the like button, subscribe, and I will see you guys soon with a new video. Take care.